You ever been sitting out on your back porch and you see some flashing lights going across the sky and you wonder to yourself, who is flying that drone? But now you have a way to get that information with something called the Drone Tag Rider. We're gonna talk all about it, don't go anywhere. Hey everybody, David here from Aerial Influence. Thank you so much for stopping by. On this channel, we focus a lot on drones, we focus a lot on safety, and the Drone Tag Rider kind of brings those two things together. Now, Drone Tag made its name a few years ago. If you remember, during the whole remote ID thing, they came out with a special device, or special devices actually, that you could put on your drone that would make you remote ID compliant. So if you had an older drone that did not transmit remote ID, these drone tag add-ons made you legal. So that's what they were known for. Well, now they've switched things up a little bit and they have produced just what we were talking about, the drone tag writer. And what this does is it detects other drones in the area. So they say up to three miles. Now this is aimed at this point at police, fire departments, search and rescue, because it can be really useful. Think of a festival, think of like a football game. If you're able to see what other drones are in the area, that is gonna be a big advantage to you and your community because, you know, it's hard to say it, but people do stupid things and they do stupid things with drones, they do stupid things with cars, everything. But this is a way to identify the drones that are in the area as long as they are transmitting remote ID. You could also use something like this, say if you are working in a team of pilots, you've got several pilots up at one time, you could use the drone tag rider to identify all of your drones, see exactly where they are and make sure they stay away from one another. Now airplanes have a system called ADSB. Basically they are transmitting and receiving a signal that allows others to see them in the airspace. So actually with a lot of drones like DJI, they they have an ADSB in, so they can also see all of the regular pilots, the airplanes flying around. They're gonna see their altitude, everything, just making sure that you're flying your drone safely and that you're staying away from any airplanes or anything like that. But the drones don't have ADSB out, so nobody can see the drones, so the airplanes are not seeing where the drones are at. Remote ID kind of fixes that problem. Basically, it gives you a license plate in the sky so that people can identify your drone. And with all the different drones out in the airspace right now, I think this is actually a good idea. And I know a lot of people would, would disagree with me on this, but drones are not going anywhere and there have to be some safety precautions that go into it. And really you should have to identify your drone. I mean, if you're not doing anything wrong, why do you care? So how does Drone Tag Rider work? Well, you use this little device right here. This is the Drone Tag Rider. You pair that up with the Drone Tag app and you are gonna be able to see the drones in your area. So I'm gonna show you exactly how this works. I'm gonna put the DJI Mavic 3 Multispectral up in the air. We're gonna see the information that we get from the app itself so that you can see if this would be a good idea for your organization to have. It's gonna beep as soon as it gets a remote ID signal in the area and it's gonna show up on the app. So I've got the drone powered on. Now I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to power on the drone tag rider. So it's as simple as just pushing a button. All right, so now it's all connected. You're seeing the flashing lights, the white lights. That means that it is scanning for a drone. Now you can see in the app, it's not seeing any drones right now, but as soon as I take off with the Mavic 3 multispectral, it should start to indicate. You're gonna hear a beeping noise from the rider and you'll be able to see on the screen uh, the drone itself. So here we go. Okay, so we're hearing the beeps right now from the rider. That means it's detected a drone. On the app, it's kind of hard to see because I'm flying from the same area. So I'm gonna get the drone up in the air. Fly it away so it's easier to see. Okay. So you can see it's following the drone. It's showing you the direction it's going. It's showing you its flight path. So I'm gonna turn it around here. So you can see where I'm at. And then I'm gonna show you, show you my actual uh, remote app, uh, map as well. Just so you can see, pretty good side by side. It's got the right location there. So, okay, now what I wanna show you on the app itself, 
And now you see here the aircraft is the DJI M3M, which is the Mavic 3 multispectral, so that's good. It's got the current location of the drone. It's got the location of where the operator took off from. It shows the serial number of the drone. It's gonna show you the heading and speed when you fly forward. So a ton of information here. Now the one that's a little bit controversial is the operator takeoff location. So essentially most pilots, like 99% of the time, they're gonna stay wherever they took off from, right? So they're gonna stay near the drone where it took off from, which means anybody with this app and this device could theoretically go cause trouble. But for police and fire departments and public safety agencies, security companies, this information is invaluable because they're gonna be able to find the pilot. If, if this pilot does something bad, something illegal, uh, something that may hurt someone, they're flying over people that they shouldn't be flying over, it would be crucial for those organizations to be able to find where that person is actually flying from. And the idea is that you'll be able to see all of the drones in that area. We actually did that the other day. My business partner, Michael, and I took two drones up and you could see both drones. You get the information on both drones. So if you got 20 drones within a three mile radius of where you are, you're gonna see a ton of drones. Michael and I also tested it out where he didn't tell me where he was going in the area. And I had to use the drone tag rider along with the app to find out where he was. And it was really simple, really easy. I was able to locate him as soon as his drone went up in the air and was broadcasting remote ID. So in my opinion, this is a great device, especially for our public safety agencies who are trying obviously to keep us safe. Use the information on the screen to contact us. Once again, we appreciate you guys stopping by. If you like this kind of content, make sure you hit like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Thank you.